to my quick little sweet episode, episode number 14. Um, I want to thank all my little sweethearts for all the gadgets and get ga- all the gadgets and gift foods of plenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. <laughs> um, anywho, so today we're doing episode 14 and I'm going to talk about just some of my childhood, um, my childhood photos and family photos, which I don't have a lot of. Um, And so that's why it may be quick or may not be. Um, But some of the photos may be repetitive. And I also, let's see if they came through. Otherwise, we can easily just do one at a time. Yes, we can. Okay, good. Um, Boom. Sent that in and I'm going to turn this down. Okay, good. Hi, hi, hi. I know other people are doing their live streams right now, which is really great, which is totally fine. Hello from Clearwater. Hi from Clearwater, Minnesota. Is that a place? Clearwater, Minnesota? Okay, anyhow. Um, anyhow, so yeah, let's see if these photos came through. Boom. Here we go. Yes. Okay, good. So I'm just going to, this one will be kind of sweet and hopefully everybody can hear me, all the people who will be watching this as well. Um, And if there's anything wrong with the volume in the meantime, just let me know. And since whoever's here is here, we can just chat together. Um, But I think in the, I don't, like I didn't put my headphones on or anything. So um, 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 on that note, I'm probably going to quickly just check the audio and make sure that the internal speaker, there we go. Checkity, check, 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 check. Yeah, I think that might be better for you guys. Uh, oh, wait, sorry. Okay, now. <laughs> um, default speakers. Okay, perfect. Good. Well, if there's anything wrong with the audio, you guys let me know as I go. Um, Oh, that's funny. No, it's a joke. I could get. <laughs> Hi from Clearwater, Nevada. <laughs> okay, that's enough, guys. This is very funny. Um, okay, well, cheers. Um, if y'all have a drink, um, I wouldn't I would recommend what I do is I put a little bit of sparkling water in my oh actually why it's this color because it looks like it looks like there's like a heart or something in it but it's just ice cubes that melted together but when i first put them in there they were like cranberry app like a cram a mixed cranberry grape thing um mixed with a little bit of um white wine from golden star vineyards here in california just out in the little rock and then i put sparkling water So I have like electrolyte ice cubes with yummy cranberry juice. And then I have sparkling uh, sparkling water with a little dash, probably about a glass of white wine. All manisha nooshy nooshy. So cheers. Um, I feel like this is something my grandmother would drink, by the way. I didn't even have a sip of it. Wow. Pretty good. Not not too shabby. Looks like a science (laughs) I don't know why that made me laugh. Yeah, it, that's exactly what I thought. I was like, look at this. It looks like a heart or something. Totally. Well, I, who would know? I wouldn't know if I was doing a science project or not. I never got to do that in school. I got a PhD in Scientology, but I know nothing about science or technology. So come and help me, please. <laughs> All right, that was funny. So on that note, let's see if I can prop up the first one who of these um of these photos um 
I don't know if y'all noticed, but I got some two nice little cute uh, stool, white stools now, so I can actually lean back and enjoy our conversation without feeling like I'm on this tiny little stool trying to adjust the computer and everything, even though I don't know if the lighting is better. We'll work on the lighting next, okay? But at least I got a light here. So yeah, uh, so we have our spritzer. We have our good stool now. And I've been getting better at these stream yards or uh, using the stream yard for YouTube and everything. Um, so let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Watch me not do it. So the first one I'm going to show, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to just start from the very beginning. Um, hmm, let me quickly, uno momento, por favorito. And while I'm doing this, guys, if you have any questions while I'm going through or if I say something random and you're like, wait, did you say this? And you're not sure, um, just put it in the things and just put a big question. Or if it's comment, put a big comment if you want me to hear or read it. That would be really cool, too. Like big question or comment or whatever you want, baby booze, just put something in caps first before you do um, do your question or, or comment or whatever that you want me to read or hear. Uh, let's see. This is now, what are we on? Episode. I'm literally putting this together right now. So funny. Um, here we are. So there we go. Bam. 13. And then I'm going to put all of these bad boys. My bad, guys. I was waiting for this to load, and then it finally did load. So now I am very happy about this. Okay, it's it's opening up. So what we will, what we could do is um, first. Thank you. <laughs> you look great tonight, pretty lady. Yes, because of these magicalness. Like it's so fun to be able to just throw on these fun things that we've made. And then these cute things, like I can't tell you how cute these gloves are. They're like the perfect accessory if I'm not in the mood or all my goldenrod uniform is dirty. This is great, Sandy. I'm just so excited. This is so cool. What a sweet gift. And I know you put all your time and effort into each one of these little loops and holes. And it's just so nice. Thank you. Um, oh, my goodness. Really? Look, <laughs> I'm almost finished making Lara FM doll and put it on Discord. It's not very much. <laughs> That's great. Send me a picture. That would be great. I can't wait to see it. Um, okay. So let's see if these photos popped up yet. Um, if not, I'll just do one by one. That's what I was going to do. Okay. So let me go to my photos from the beginning and I will catch you all up. So I think the first one I'm going to, um, start with is just this funny one that I already put on uh, that one and hold on hold bear with me kids bear with me we're getting there I wanted to show you that one and this one because this was my there, naming ceremony oh look I got that one there okay good and a lot of FM. Get it together. At least you guys are here hanging out with me while I'm doing this. Oh, nope. Not that one. Boom. And then, uh, and not waiting, just wondering, is is, is Laura Megan Anderson okay? Uh, is she just hiding in the back? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, let's go to this one because that is obviously... I first want to just say that my main family, I would say like in terms of childhood photos and stuff like that, would be my mom, my dad, my brother and sister, right? That those are my siblings and then my mom and dad. So let me put up this one. Hey, where did it go? It ran away from me. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's boom, copy. Paste item. Thank you very much. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this one. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, sorry, I'll get I'm gonna do this. And once I do this guy, then I can pretty much um paste item. This should be a lot easier, but we'll see. We'll see, you know. Life sometimes is not as easy as we wish it was. <laughs> That's a good one, Laura. Good one. Okay, so here we go. 
This one is the one I want to show first because it is my full close, like my immediate family. And we were all in the, um, in Scientology and in the Sea Org together. So you guys can see that. So here is my mother, Diane Anderson. Diane, I wonder if I can zoom in while I, yeah, I can. So here you go. There's my mama. Diane Jesse Mulholland Anderson. That would be her hand. Her first name actually is Jesse, but Jesse Diane Mulholland Anderson. That's my mother. And then above her is my brother, Jared Anderson, Jared Philip Anderson. And above him is my dad right here, Phil, Philip Roy Anderson, Phil Anderson. <laughs> Oh, these pictures are funny when I zoom in. And then here is my sister, Colleen Anderson. Colleen, Jesse Anderson, or Jesse, Colleen Anderson, Diane, Jesse, Colleen Anderson, I think something like that. Anyways, and then here you have your one and only Lara Megan Anderson. <laughs> so here, I think this is, I think the cutest and the prettiest we did look, I mean, just in terms of like, clean, like, look at how posh and put together we are even though you, I don't know what the opinion is from the outside world, but in this, we thought, wow, these are great, you know, professional, good photos. And so that's just, and actually I'm not going to explain the photos very much because these are mixtures of photos at some point that like my mom and dad and parents gave me. And then some I got from friends and stuff like that. And then some are just, uh, yeah, like I said, random from people. Um, but the point is, is we weren't allowed to keep photos. We weren't allowed to, um, there were certain photos. We can only have certain amounts of photos and there would be like no reason for us to have albums and albums of photos when we were being shipped off to Clearwater. So when we were leaving the Int Ranch, which I've talked about many a times in the episodes before. So if you're new and watching, hurry up and catch up on those. Um, but when we were leaving the Int Ranch, we were being shipped off to Clearwater, Florida. And during that whole process at the Int Ranch, they were making us do things like signing NDAs, which we had no idea what that was at the time. So, um, but also uh, signing confidentiality things, but also cutting up pictures and getting rid of any evidence or any, just, we didn't call it even evidence. We were just saying anything that was LPR or confidential for the Int Ranch, which means a lot of photos I can't even tell you how many hundreds of photos I had to throw away or get rid of or went to shredding or whatever you want to call it. So I don't really have a lot of these photos. So anyways, that's just a good photo from the earlier times of, of uh, you know, the Scientology family days um, that I wanted to show you just so you can see the whole the whole family. Um, but that's just my immediate family there. Then I wanted to show you, so we'll go back, um, to like, I guess for, as me as a kid, I would say, so let's hear, I'm going to show you my name. This here is what Scientology would call like the naming ceremony, or I guess anybody would call that, that, um, on the top though, you can see, this is so cute. I guess I'm reaching for the microphone or something. I'm also reminiscing while I'm showing you guys these photos as well. But um, you can see even here the the minister and I and somebody knows all these people's names. I am just so certain of it. Somebody watching or somebody later watching will know who you know these people are, et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, here. Um, you can see the Scientology emblem or whatever, the cross right here. So these are all, and here I am, and there's my mama. And uh, yeah, so my life really was already surrounded by this whole religion. And there's my dad. <laughs> Wonder what he's thinking. There's another the third child. <laughs> Uh, no, he's anyway. So this is them. This is the naming ceremony or whatever that Scientology does when they're naming the child. And that's, I think that's what my mom was telling me when, um, yeah, here's another version of that. This guy, I believe his name is, uh, Sh uh, Shane, Shane, um, Whitmore, or maybe I'm totally wrong, but I'm pretty sure anyways, here I am. Here's here's me being cute as usual. <laughs> Just kidding. But I was kind of this really cute little kid. 
Um, so yeah, there, there's that. There's my little Scientology naming ceremony. Um, I'm just showing you guys these also to like, uh, to just kind of show you the, the pattern or like the, even as a child growing up and all these things, um, uh, these, oh, I wanted to show you these. Yep. And this, and probably my aunt and grandma, since I have those, sorry. <laughs> Okay, we'll send these ones. Um, so the next ones, now I can just kind of go like this. Um, boom, message. I thought it would all load up by the time that I got on this, but it didn't. So I'm just making it go right with green or white. <laughs> uh, I'm a funny girl. I'm a funny, funny girl. Okay, so I just sent some, um, oh, whoops, send it to the wrong, no, I didn't, there we go, they're still going, okay, so I'm going to just show you um, my grandmother's, um, it's just going through, oh, I see a little question here, <laughs> unless, so those photos, are, we'll just go as I go, and then I can answer some fun questions as I go as well. Hello from, good morning from Australia. Good evening from Brazil. Yes, Clearwater, Minnesota. Uh, it's a state of mind. That's true. Uh, yes, Nevada. Hello, hello, everybody. Yes, I said good. I'm glad I'm sounding fine. Thank you. Uh, it does look like an Oregon or something. Cheers to y'all being here, supporting me, watching. Thank you. And thank you um, always for never being. Um, apparently never being born, which is so freaking cool because I just love that. Uh, thank you, Cedar Duval. Is that how you say? Cedar Duval. I was checking out your music today and you are a badass. You must be talking about me, right? <laughs> I wish I'd known about you sooner. Oh, well, now you know now. That's so nice. Now you know now. And now you can fucking dance your little heart out and express and feel my emotions while I'm with you. Like here. Like we're like, yeah. Um, let's see. Question. Rexican Messler. <laughs> I was about to be like, um, Mexican wrestler, Roxican wrestler. Um, are your, are your siblings out? My brother is out, but he's also going through his own healing, which is a, a road of his own. And my sister is still in, uh, she was in the Sea Org our whole lives, as I'll show you some pictures, but, uh, she's definitely still in, um, Scientology. The, she's still, she's doing her like, I'm pretty sure the last I knew she was doing her conditions, like her freeload, paying her freeloader bill and liability condition to get back on, uh, you know, on good lines in good standings so that she can go back on course and receive auditing and whatever else. Um, juba, juba, juba. Thank you for asking. Oh, that's really sweet. I'm, I'm always, my, my attention's always on my family. So it's nice when people ask about them or how they're doing or whatever. Um, Laura, is your dad from Lake Simcoe? I don't know. I don't know what that uh, is. Let me know where that is, or I'll look it up later. Um, he's from Canada, Toronto. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, I just got my Canadian accent on. Okay. Let's see if these things came through. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to show you really quickly. Um, oh, you might hear my cats in the backgrounds a little bit, but you know, that's just like, you know, it's just the way it is. They're so cute. I can hear them. Okay. Um, copy five. There we go. These are just some quick photos of, I wanted, in case I do have family members watching, I want them to know, like I have these photos and these are the only photos I have of my, um, family. So it would be nice, like a lot of people just assume that, you know, I, oh, I have photos or whatever of, and I don't, and these are the only ones I have. And I would like to have more. I would like to be putting all this together. I would like to be like putting these books and just the whole timeline that really cl cleans up and clarifies my life and my family and my, my roots and, 
and just all kinds of things. It's, it's yeah. Okay, so here, let me share this with you now. Um, this one is my, uh, a younger photo of my, uh, aunt, I mean, my grandma Jessie and my grandpa John Mulholland, which is my mother's, um, I can zoom in here. My mom's, uh, my mother's side, my mother's mom and her father. That's them. Um, yay. Yay. Uh, they're from Canada, Toronto. I'm pretty sure as well. Yeah. Born. I'm pretty sure my whole family is from Canada. So, um, here's another one from my, my dad's side. This is my, um, my grandmother, my, my dad's, um, oh, well, you know, sorry. She's in the back there. She's right here in the back tap dancing. I'm going to show you other photos of her, but she was tap dancing literally. And like the day before somebody's funeral for one of her friends. And, uh, like before she passed away, she was singing and tap dancing before she did that. Anyways, her name is grandma. Well, her name is Linda Anderson. Uh, she's in the, yeah, like I said, she's right here in the back. I'll show you another photo. That's just the one that popped up in my sweet little on the next list to show. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to show this. This is my mom and dad, Diane and Phil Anderson. Um, um, at their wedding. That's That's what I know, you know. I think this is so cute. I always, always look and reminisce at these. Um, there's some stains and stuff because they're old photos, but it's just like, I, I don't know. This does something to my heart when I see my mom and dad like, like this. I don't know. It's wild. Like my little human body came from these, these two little creatures. Anywho, so yeah, I'm just sharing, guys, just sharing my little fam. Like I said, this is my childhood and family photos, so it might be a little boring or it might be interesting if you if you care, but, oh, I want to do that one. How do I do that one? Present. Let's see if it popped up. No, let's see. It didn't do that. Uh, here's, this is one. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is one. Oops. This is the flower girl and stuff. I'm like, who's this girl? Somebody tell me who this is. That was the flower girl at my mom and dad's wedding. And look at my mom and dad. I just can't like, look at my mom is honestly like gorgeous. I know that's weird, but like, and it's hard to really compliment her. So it's very therapeutic, but it's hard to compliment her while I've had so much unheard and unacknowledged and undealt with like, you know, emotions and all sorts of abandonment stuff and all that. But I mean, they do look like, I don't know. I, I can, I'm of course a child always is going to dub in their things, but they do look happy. I'm proud. I'm, I'm proud. I came from them. If, if you're watching mom and dad, I love you. Don't remember, remember that always don't think I don't. Um, okay. Let's see if there's one more than I wanted to show you. Oh, this one's funny. I have to show you for all those. I actually pulled this one up just for the Canadians in the house. <laughs> so I have technically dual citizenship and this, I just had to show you, you could even see up close. This is my Canadian little birth certificate that they gave me when I was young. I guess you didn't really need them at that time. I don't know. I don't know what the real thing is, but this was what and just look at this photo. <laughs> um, you can see my mom's thumbs right here holding me up in the photo. I just think that's so cute. Anyway, it's probably one of the first photos or, you know, my little life. Here I am. There's the little, little Laura Megan Anderson. <laughs> um, okay. So let's see if there's any more on that. Um, 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 like I get, again, if you have questions, guys, just say question and then say, Laura is your blah, 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 blah. Um, that way I can just see it easily. Oh, thank you, Lou. Okay, good. 
<laughs> I was like, this could either be really boring and it doesn't matter if it's boring. It's again, stuff I really just want to have on the record. I want, if my mom or dad or family members are watching, I want them to know. I want them to know what I have, what I don't, what I'm missing, um, what, what they don't want to tell me because they're afraid of Scientology. I would love for them to contact me and just be open to me completely about it. And I will keep, I'm very good. I will keep my, I will keep, I understand the devilish things and the devilish rules of Scientology. I do understand that. I do understand what they do. I want you to know I understand it more than any of the family members in my family. I, I know what they do in and out. So if you feel like you're not talking to me and my family because of, of these types of things, I just want you to know, like, let me know, contact me. You can call me. You can text me. You can email me. Um, if you think your email is being hacked or something, you can literally call my uh, hotline, my secret hotline. I'm going to put it up here for you. And you can leave me a voice message. You can text me privately from a weird spare phone and just say, hey, it's you. Like, whatever you feel, just send me any kinds of filling me in information, any loving information, even if you're not part of my family, but then you knew my grandmother or you knew my family very well, but you never knew me. I would love to meet you. I would love to talk. I would love to find out more about my roots, my family, um, the stuff that basically was kind of taken away from me, like, or, or specifically not given to me. The information was specifically not given to me because they didn't want me to get distracted or have other fish to fry or get go out of valence because maybe I liked something my cousin was doing that was in the wog world, you know, which did happen. She was doing clothes and fashion and I was really like into it. And I was like, maybe, maybe anyway. So yeah. Um, thank you guys for being patient and watching and listening and being, being, I feel like you're, we're all together and sorry, I keep shaking the computer. We're all together in this as like, it, we're doing our, I'm like in, I'm literally in my living room. So this feels very fun. And it feels like I'm showing, finally, I'm here showing my audience, my, my photo albums. And it's really not that much, but like I said, we'll get there. Okay. So now let's see, let me just see quickly if this has, oh, it did load all of them. Let's see. Um, Uh, hmm, no. Oh, I see. It only did some so far. This is silly. I should just do this to all of them. Okay, spit. Sp just settle with me, guys. Sip on your drinks. Get your, oh, there's little bubbies. Hi, bubs. Say hi to everybody. See bubbies behind me, everybody. Hi, yeah, hi, bubbies. You want to say hi? I'm supposed to be doing this live stream and focusing on the pictures, but. But you can, Bubba's can you, Bubba's can hit on my lap. This is Bubby's. <laughs> this is Bubs. She has a sister who's a goldenrod cutie pie. Here, Bubba's, you want, you go back over there. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Anywho, okay, back to the photos. Um, here, I can also do it like this. So I'm going to go. So I wanted to start um, showing photos of like the beginnings of like my childhood and stuff in terms of just and also the only pictures again that I have. So it's just a few, but um, it was kind of like in the mix of when I was at the CEO and the, and the ATA and then when my mother and stuff was down a little bit in the LA organization before she went to gold, um, the golden, the gold base in base. And then I would, we were me, my brother and sister were put to the, um, were sent to the Int ranch. So these, so these little chunk of photos that I'm going to share right now are, Oh, I sent my, the other photos to the, my other phone, the hotline phone. Why would I do that? I don't know. Somebody come here and help me. <laughs> Okay, so I did send these ones, so those should go faster. And let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, good. 
Um, so yeah, I said, uh, we're going to, so I'm going to show the earlier ones, like just the, the random few photos that I do have of us as a kid, as like, as I think, I guess when I'm saying kid is like when I'm like two, three, about three and four, because I went to the Int Ranch when I was four years old. So that is another thing. Okay. Hold on. These things are all coming together. Um, those are loading up so y'all can come and ask me some fun little questions. Uh, let's see, see. Yeah. Bubby says, hi. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lou question. Lara, what auditor training level is your mom interned or not solo counts? My mother, this is a very great question. Um, my mom and dad both have not ever achieved the state of clear. My mother has never trained more than doing probably my TRs and objectives. I don't think my mother has ever been on the other side of an e-meter other than, other than like being audited that side. Like, I don't think she's trained anything. Um, she's done her basic TRs and, you know, the HQ basic courses and things like this. I don't, I, I think she's done certain things like that have to do with going up cl to clear or getting clear. Uh, but I don't think she ever achieved the state of clear. And my dad, out of the 45 years or more that they've been in the Sea Org, they have never gone. I know they have never gone past OT1. I know that for sure. So. There you go. Good question. And there's a very horrible answer for you. That's that's how much they really respect their own Sea Org members actually going free. And and now my mom is in her 70s. And, you know, she's dealing with her body. That's like not working anyway. Anywho. Aw, Xenu, we're a beautiful angel baby, golden rod for life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if these things came up. Um, boom, boom, boom. Yep. They did. Okay. Perfect. So in these photos, I also have little notes that I've written on them. Cause I was trying to scrape together, like not today, just in my life of leaving and stuff. I was trying to scrape together, um, any pictures I had. And I was like, I need to start like marking them and making the dates and stuff as much as I could so that I can kind of put my life together. That was the idea, right? Um, so they have little notes and stuff, but I think it, it, I think it might be even better. It might be easier. Um, let's see, open this little baby up and then go like this and then go like this and then go like that and then go like this. Okay. So let's click on this first one. Um, actually let's do the one before this because I'm younger. So then it's kind of not like we're going backwards. <laughs> I know you guys are like, we don't, we can't see what you're, what you're doing, but okay. Actually, I'll just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this one. Um, I should just open these all up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open them all up and then I'll close them once I'm done looking at them with you guys. And then that way it won't be so confusing. Okay. Okay. Does that sound good guys? Great. <laughs> Boop. Oh, that's good. I didn't know that I can also circle. Okay, good. So present, share, boom, shakalaka, bang, bang, boop, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop. <laughs> um, okay. So let's do this first one um, here. Oh, share. Can you guys see that one? Yeah. So here I am. Uh, is this, which one am I on? This one, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Uh, here I am actually outside of Celebrity Center where I was just hanging out the other night. Anyways, I must be about, I don't know, three years old, four years old here and I definitely know already what a salute is, right? A hand salute. So I may be, I don't know. Anyways, this is, this is just me. And again, these rock walls, all these rock walls were always in my life, hauling them 
anyways, but you just noticed, I just noticed that now at Celebrity Center, like there they are. But anyway, so definitely, again, my life is here at the Celebrity Center and we were visiting my aunt or something at the time, or probably grandma, my grandma, Linda, or somebody before she passed away. And uh, they would, they came to the Celebrity Center. Ah, don't show that. Um, anyways, here's me drawing on the toilet, little young, little Lara, uh, probably at my mom's, um, apartment, you know, you know, see your apartment that we shared with other, other see your members. So, uh, I have, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just going to quickly go through these little ones. Uh, this is, uh, Another photo, like these are photos while I, where I'm on, I'm definitely being cared for either at the Shanger Lodge or I'm going to see my mom at the Shanger Lodge. Um, but you can tell I'm very small and I might, I think I'm only like three or four years old. That's all. That's like all I can really remember or imagine it, let alone remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's a photo. I'm not sure. I don't really remember that. But again, these are just photos I have. So maybe somebody sees a photo of me and they're like, oh, my God, I knew you when you were a baby. Blue, blah, blah, blah. OK, share screen. Here you go. This one's interesting. So this is interesting to me because this is my dad, m my sister, me in my dad's lap and then my brother to the left. And I feel like I mean, you know, my sister's got a little Barbie and it's a kid, I think, that came from its presence. But I think they came from our old teachers or something when we were visiting. Anyway, so or maybe it's my sister's birthday or whatever. Who the heck knows? But they they're definitely Scientologists because here I am and I'm born in 86 and my mom and dad have already been at Toronto or. And in Canada and all that. So if, if this face looks familiar from Canada, then that's probably my dad in the, you know, early 80s, late 70s, things like that. Um, okay, yeah. Oh, did I just skip out of that picture too much? I thought that was fine. You can, I'll, I'll go back later. Look. <laughs> okay, moving forward. Cheers on that little note, guys. Okay, so... Did I show this one? Nope. I don't think I did. Um, boop. Share. Um, okay, so this is when we were... I mean, I'm just showing you, like, the dorms. Look at the dorms and stuff in here. These are these were the, like, the, the, bait, the birthings for Sea Org staff members. They're just so bland and plain. There's a blanket. Here's a this, da-da-da. It might have been Halloween or something, because what is this wiggy thing on the bed? <laughs> Anywho. Um, yep, yeah, that's little Lara. Okay, so here is a picture. We're getting a little bit older. This is my brother, my sister, and I. And we're sitting again on these rocks, these little rock borders. But look at, like, zoom in, zoom in on this uh, Church of Scientology shirt my sister's got going on here. I mean, who's in, who, what is this? I just noticing this now. Sorry. Anywho. <laughs> um, something Church of Scientology, right? Anywho, uh, th that's my sister. And then here I am. So I'm still young. Cause, And then there's my brother. We're all two years apart. There's me, my sister, and my brother. And I've got stains and shit all over my things. You know, just the norm. No biggie. Yep. So there we are as three little children, quote unquote, cadets. Remember, we're cadets. We're not, you're not, we're not just your regular children. This is, that's not how it goes. These are cadets on free time. <laughs> okay. Moving along. Let's see what's the next one. Oh yeah. So this is, um, I would say that this would, this is like a Christmas time. When, when we were younger, I guess when they did let us like kind of go on outings or maybe this is that, I don't really remember, but I just know that these polka dot dresses specifically, if I can zoom in, can I not? Hey, why are you not letting me zoom in? Nope. Doesn't want me to do it. It's just saying no, no, no. Um, it's not going to let me zoom in. No, no, 
fine and let me do it on all the other ones what if i do it like that oh there you go okay um so this is my sister again and there i am hello i was just trying to see what i was eating or something but anyways these polka dot dresses we had so many for so we use these polka dot dresses for everything the new year's event christmas i think a few years in a row um, oh my God, I remember these polka dot dresses and, uh, and, and we would use them over. Yeah. I mean, that's just a personal thing that I remember, but I just, I remember we had the same matching polka dot dresses and I think mine would be a little bit dirtier, but we would keep them, uh, hit like in the suitcases and like for the whole year at the ranch, they would just be in the closets and then we would pull them out whenever there was whenever there was, you know, our non-Scientology family members coming around. So I'm sure if there's family members watching this that are semi-worried to talk to me, uh, just remember, I mean, I know these, the, I love, like, these are moments that I, I, I barely hang on to, and it would be really fun to be able to talk about this or know that I have other family members who remember these, you know, moments where we just, me and my sister had these just, like, same dresses up. There's those polka dot dresses again. Okay, anyways. Uh, here, I guess I am on Santa Claus, probably, uh, some weirdo Sea Org member or somebody who knows, but, um, I think I was visiting my grandma or she was at celebrity center or something. I do remember these little puffy eighties sort of, why did it let me zoom in on this one and not the other one? Okay. Anyways, look at little Lara, Megan Anderson. There she goes with her little nails her little painted Christmas nails. I probably colored them in with a marker. My little devil eyes. <laughs> oh, let's see if I colored them in with a marker. Did I? Uh, can you see? No, I don't know. Anywho. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's, that's me starting to sort of, you know, follow the rules and learn, I guess, the world a little bit in the planet, the world of planet Scientology, right? Um, okay, so now we're going to show, I want to show some pictures of, um, I guess I'm going to have to send some, here, I'll do some questions while it loads, but let me first find them, not questions, just go look at the, the uh, comments. Uh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, cool. I need to go check out all the other things. Okay. So now I'm going to go like this and I want to, so now I'm going to show you some, uh, I already have that one. I want to show you some leaving and leaving like LA Hollywood area going up to the Ant Ranch, like before that, and then going into the Ant Ranch. Um, Uh, yeah, that's all. And then, oh yeah, this, my family, my grandma. Oh yeah, you're going to see some pictures of my grandma. So maybe I should just do them in little sections so that, um, so that, <laughs> there, so that it, it doesn't take so long. And then I can just do this quicker. Uh, do, do, do. Oops, wrong number. Boom. Okay. There. Okay, now I go to comments and hang out with you guys for a little bit. Um, thank you guys. Yes, thank you for being here and asking <laughs> Cadet Org shirt. I don't know. I It probably was a Cadet Org shirt. You're right. I do remember they had some sort. It could have even had, I don't know. Somebody will pull that up. It, it wasn't. If there was one printed like that on my sister's shirt, sorry, Cornelius is asking Cadet Org shirt. Um, yeah, if it, 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 if there's one like that, that means there were many. It wasn't just like one was printed and then my sister just randomly had it. So somewhere in the mix, we'll be seeing, uh, yeah, we'll be seeing more of that. Oh, there we go. It went through. Oops, sorry. We'll be seeing more of these random shirts and random things. I, I would say also pay attention, um, in the backgrounds. Oops. I just exited out of everything pay attention in the backgrounds of some of these photos when there's like multiple kids and stuff or adults or when they're in the classrooms you'll see that um there's always like l ron hubbard pictures or there's 
you know, shelves, there's books on the shelves behind them that have all the bulletins or all the PLs or all the scriptures or whatever he's writing. So um, these are all, if you think about it, they're constantly, they're constantly uh, in every movement and every breath we're taking and every dis thought we're, we're spacing off. There's books to read. There's this, there's never the whole the whole system of being a Scientologist is your whole life. You're you, you, there's no, um, there's no other thought process, not even naturally. Like the world's not even giving you natural thought processing because you're away from everything. You're only seeing one, one side you're only seeing. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys listening get that by now, but just wanted to remind people that some photos look normal, but they're not. There's so much. Uh, here, here we go. Share. So this one, um, this specific photo I'm going to show, this is when we were wearing sort of like uh, civilian clothes, as they call it. Here, I wonder if I can move this over more. Does it show more? No, it does not. It just shows the image. Okay. But there I am. You can see my little, you can, you can see our green hair. My definitely had green hair a lot from the, the pool that when we were allowed to go swimming, these are the moments a lot of people try to say like, oh, we had fun or this was fun there. You know, it would just be like a privilege to go swimming. It would be a reward. It would be like you finished your hot Dex project. So you were able to go swimming anyways. So um, this right here, we're actually all singing Christmas carols. This is a time when we were all lined up singing Christmas carols or something for all the executives and stuff at the Gold Base when we were younger, which then continued on like throughout the years, even if, you know, whatever, whenever the Gold Base would have something, the kids would come and sing. So it would look like, oh, there's all the kids. It would be an exciting thing for the kids to see their parents and hang out with the parents at, you know, on the base. Um, and then for all the executives to see all the parents think, you know, the kids thinking, oh, look at all these kids. They look great. Look at they're going to be our future executives someday. You know, I just want to name a few kids here. Michael Flood. Uh, I believe that's Ben. Benjamin. Oops, sorry. I believe that's uh, Ben Rinder. Uh, this is Ben Weber. This is Kim Radstrom or Kim Kim Fumagelli. She, I remember her changing her name after all. Here I am, Laura Megan Anderson. Um, this looks like Jessica Engelhart, which she's another one we'll we'll, we'll talk about soon. Uh, here is Susie Flood. She has a brother named Michael Flood. Uh, next to her is Vanessa Delderfield. Uh, that's all I can really see right now. This looks like Jesse Dunstan. I could be wrong. Uh, anybody else? Somebody knows somebody's anywho. Yeah. So that would, that, that's a photo I just have. I, I don't know how or where I got it from, but it's just all the ranch cadets during or around Christmas time. This is, and this is a rare photo because after this, we actually started having uniforms, like even in the plays we had, or like, it wouldn't be like fun, hang out civilian clothes anymore. It would just go back to like, okay, back to, uh, or if you, if we're here to do a dance, then we have the outfits for the dance and then we do the dance and then you go back in uniform or you go, okay, bye. And you go back to the, the ranch, you know, back to your post, back to your job. Um, oh yeah. Um, I don't know if I shared this one, but this is just, again, um, we were at the playground on one of our last outings or something before going up to the Int Ranch. Uh, in this photo, you can see, I believe this is Ben Weber. Uh, this looks like Natalia Lobato, maybe. I'm not sure, but there I am. There's my sister behind me. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Some cool kid with some convert, <laughs> dinosaur converse or something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, clearly no no shoes here. Probably enjoyed that. Uh, anyway, so these are the last little photos I have of me being little cutie pie, baby, whatever. Baby cadet child. <laughs> it's like hard to call it what it is. Oh, then I'm somebody was like, oh, wait, let's get one of you and your sister before you 
before you head out. You guys look like you're having fun. Take off your shoes and look like you're having fun. Just kidding. I'm sure we were having fun, but anywho. So this is, my sister no longer talks to me because I'm declared an SP. Uh, and I'm speaking out about all this. But our whole childhood before, you know, at the CEO, at the ATA, we were close. We were sisters. You know, even at one point, my brother was sent to gold. So I, we didn't really... As you know, I didn't, we didn't really get to see my brother that much. So it was more like me and my sister all the time together, you know? Um, okay. So now, uh, I don't think I have very many other ones of before the Int Ranch. So I'm going to start going into the Int Ranch photos here. Let's see. Wait, let's see if there's any other ones here. Um... Chicka, 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 choo, chicka, chicka. I just put some noise, some sounds in here while I <laughs> shuffle through to keep it, keep it moving, keep it popping. Um, okay, so let's share some other ones really quickly. And then I can just, I'm going to go through quickly on these ones. Um, share window. Okay, this is one really quick. This was my grandmother that I was showing you that was tap dancing. Um, this is me and her when she had time off and we had we got permission to go on LOA. Uh, that's called leaving, uh, leaving of absence, which is I'm pretty sure taken from the military. Anyways, this is my beautiful singing grandmother. She sang, she tap danced. She was very much into music and all of that. And uh, she was my, my dad's mom. Linda, Grandma Linda, Linda, I guess it's uh, Linda Anderson or and maybe they had some anyways, but yeah, that's her. There's me with my little bowl cut. So they definitely didn't take very much time cutting the cadets. Like it would, all the cadets hair would be cut and done. All cadets hair would be cut by other cadets and other adults, and then it would be chopped. All the cadets, like 80 cadets hairs would be done being cut within like two hours because they would just be like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. like, that's so funny. Like I looked very similar to a lot of, not a lot, but a few of the other in ranch cadets that had this like bright blonde hair because like Jenna Miscavige, she had, she, we looked so similar that at one point, it's not even that we look similar. We just were just made to be a cadet and be this certain way. But one of her family members, when they were coming through doing the inspections, um, would like got confused with me and her. They, they called, they were like, Oh, Jenna. And then like, I think Biddy or somebody was like, no, no, that's not. And then, and I, and then one of them like, Oh, who are your parents? And then I was like, Oh, Diane and Phil Anderson. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, you know, anyways, um, Okay, here's, I've shared this on an earlier episode, but this is a picture of me on the, in the middle. Uh, hold on, let me zoom. Here we go. Bam. Get it, get it in there so you guys can see this. Um, here, this, we're all, in, this was our standard uniform at the Int Ranch Cadet Org. Red shirts that said the, the, the ranch with like a little the design or logo, or it was just plain red shirts, khaki shorts. The uniform was khaki socks and all that and black shoes, which they tried to get us in, you know, but it was just, we were so, we were doing heavy mess. We're doing work. We're doing heavy work all the time. And, and we're anyway, so yeah, this was just after a photo shoot. So we were all swinging on the swings and they took a picture. This wouldn't be, we were like in this cute little set of uniform every day. It would always be like, it would be a, a mixture either of uniforms, like there would be a sock, a blue sock or something, whatever we would have. Um, or, or there would be a holes all in our shirts and it would be white t-shirts because those were easy to buy and packs hands her way, you know, whatever t-shirts. Um, anyway, so this was after like, we had just done a photo shoot. So, or like a group photo, which I also want to pull up here. Uh, I should pull that up soon. Yeah. Um, so this, yeah. Anyways, this is me in the middle, Lara Megan Anderson, probably I have no idea where those glasses came from, but anywho, uh, this is Vanessa Delderfield and this is Michael Flood. 
I'm sure some of y'all know this. And behind us, you can see us, all the ranches is in the playground, which was almost never used. But when it was used, the the everything in the playground is metal and steel. And so everything would be burning hot. These these seats that we're sitting on would be so hot. And uh, yeah. And and then everything else is just ground and metal. So if you fell, boom, you it was just so unkid friendly. And it just honestly was there to make it look. And then, yeah, we would run to the playground or go swing on swing when we would quickly eat our 15 minute break during our Scientology studies. Um, we would run right here because it's in front of the schoolhouse. So, yeah, we, it would it would look like it was the playground. And, oh, we would have so much fun climbing on the monkey bars and breaking our arm and stuff and having anyways. But and then getting in trouble for it. So it's not this playground thing and this whole idea of oh we're it's not a it's not a thing. It's not a thing at all. It's all just literally for show because if it was for the kids to enjoy and have fun, it would be more playful. It would it wasn't it's not that way. Uh here's a picture of my sister. She's at some Christmas party or something, anyway. She just looks really cute. <laughs> Thought y'all should see that. Her name is Colleen Anderson. I said that earlier, but going to say it again say it again say it again oh there's my grandma again grandma linda i, I guess i don't have to show you guys that or do i hee <laughs> let's do it because she's no longer with us so i like to share photos of any of my grandparents there she is there i am and this is when i was able to see her she was allowed i had permission to go see her and I had to make sure my PR was in and et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, I really loved her. Bless my little grandma's heart. Um, okay. Um, so now. Okay, so now we'll wait for these other ones. I'm going to pull up. And then these are going to be more of the the a lifestyle Um I'm kidding. These photos are also, there's a, there was also no freedom and just like being able to, obviously we didn't have the internet and phones and all these things that we do now, but there was no freedom in being able to just like take pictures. I mean, maybe it was because we didn't have, um, oh, I guess I can take off this thing. Maybe it was because we didn't have the money to literally be able to afford anything, but there was no like, just take pictures. So one thing I always remember is my mom loved photography. She would always have a new camera or like she would put her energy and all this time into a photo or a picture. And most of the time it was, it felt like we were taking pictures to like sort of PR the family. Um, so it would always be like, you know, come on, guys, get it together. Don't laugh like that. Do it like this. Anywho. Um, oh, yeah, I didn't even show these other. Wait, before I get back to the ranch ones, I want to show. I think I missed some. Yeah, I was showing you. Yes. Okay, so exit this one. There's more of these ones that I want to show that. Be patient, guys. Y'all just sip on that drink and have fun with whatever you're doing while you're listening to this wildness. Okay, I'm going to show you this one. Yep, this is the one. This is a photo. Oh, share. I always forget to share. I think, I, I think I'm sharing it with you guys and then I'm not. Okay. So this is a photo of me, my brother, my sister, my mom, and my dad when my uh, mom and my... Um, they, they, we were, a, it was a new year's event. And I think they brought my mom, my grandmother, who's not a Scientologist, my dad's mother, um, down to an event or something like that. And so we all had to look really nice. And why am I always not wearing shoes? <laughs> I mean, this can't be a coincidence guys. Why am I not wearing shoes in this photo? What's the excuse here? I'm no longer a kid. Apparently I'm a cadet ethics. Look, I've got my adult ADC org uniform on. <laughs> Just kidding. Civilian clothes. Anyways. Okay. So yeah, this is when they got approved. Here's my mother. Look, she looks all pretty and beautiful for the new year's event. This, I don't know what year this must've been in. I get, I'm thinking I'm about eight or nine years old there. Um, I know my grandmother maybe wasn't doing as well 
at the time. But anywho, um, there's my sister, my mom, and my brother always joking. He, my mom would always be like, stop. He was always the one making funny photos or faces. And my mom would be like, Jared, come on. This is bad PR. She would slightly be joking, but slightly be very serious. <laughs> uh, you know, those kinds of moms. Okay. Well, oh, good. I can unplug that. That business is all sorted. Um, okay. So now I'm going to do... Okay, now I'll go into uh, more ranch photos. Boom. But again, these are of my family. And these are the only things that I have that are like, that I was able to keep or that have any sort of anything left of the ranch. I'll send, I'll, we'll do these ones first. And thank you again for being patient. And while you're here, why not just go ahead and like that like button? <laughs> yeah, I threw it in there. And subscribe. Most of us don't even realize we're not even subscribed. And if you have, there's a notification on this on the subscribe subscription. When you go to subscribe and press the button, there's a little bell. Uh, go click on that bell and don't make sure it doesn't have a line going through it. That means it'll it'll notify you if it just shows the bell. It'll notify you anytime I go live. So like random things like this, or if I'm like, you know what, I want to go live early tomorrow morning or whatever. At least you'll know if there's not if if you didn't have enough time to like see it on my, on the YouTube or if YouTube didn't, you know, do their job and send it, send you the notification fast enough. That happens sometimes. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, about that. <laughs> okay. So now those are loading and sending. Um, okay. Let's go to comments and say hi to everybody. Oh, thank y'all being here and cuties. Serge, one of my besties, Serge Del Mar. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, Goldie, so much all the time for being a little um, awesome supporter of all this. Uh, oh, yeah. The shirt had the SO wreath on it. Yep, exactly. Going back to that one. Um, oh, that's now. That's just. <laughs> I really haven't changed. I don't think I've changed as a kid. I feel like I've been misunderstood a lot because I've just been wild and rebellious and fun. But I, I've, I've always been loving. I've always been fun. I've always been sort of adventurous and wild. Anywho. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nat. Oh, my God. Natalia Lobato. We used to call her Nat. Exactly. Natalia Lobato. Yep. And her brother, Marco Lobato. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Alex. Uh, oh, Lou. Hi, Lulu. Oh, yeah. Lou says, do you know Arthur Milford? Milford, cadet went to Asho. I know Arthur very well. Um, not as cadets. I knew him because, again, he was a cadet who had left the Sea Org. So when you leave the Sea Org, you start to learn or get to know other cadets that you either knew in the cadet org you were in that knows other cadets because they were hopping around to the other cadet orgs. Or just in general, when you leave the Sea Org, you kind of already have this understanding and like knowledge of this person's life because they were in the Sea Org as a kid, as a, as a cadet, as a child. So yeah, I became really good friends with Arthur after I left the Sea Org out, you know, with my other cadet friends and we still are really good friends. And, um, he's an amazing artist. He draws and he creates art and he's, he's mind blowing. Like, and he's also done a lot of his own, digging in and research and, and discovering in his own, um, his own understanding and, uh, you know, of what Scientology does and what it's done to art, to us as kids and, and what it, what, what, what the whole, where it all comes from. He has a lot of knowledge on the background. I'm very proud of him. Smart guy. So smart. Anyways. Yeah. He'll, I hope he visits California soon. I'd love to hang out with him. That's so cool. Whoever you are, Lou. You must know Arthur then. That's really cool. Um, okay, let's see really quickly. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. And thank you for watching and listening and being awesome and so supportive. I love it. Uh, here. Is Laura in contact with her sister and her brother now? My brother, yes. Um, and my sister, no, because she uh, sent me an email uh, when I got declared. 
Um, I found like, I just noticed one day that she was off my Facebook and on, not on my Instagram. And we had just been talking about our cats. And so I was so confused. Like, what the heck did you, why am I not on your Facebook? Like what happened? Did you delete your account or something? And then she was like, well, somehow she wrote me back in an email. I still have it. And it just says somehow you've gotten yourself declared an SP. So I no longer, your new, your new terminal is the international justice chief. IJC. And that's the only person you're allowed to talk to if you get excommunicated or disconnected from your family or anybody in, in Scientology. You only are allowed to talk to the international justice chief. So yeah, that's that about my sister and all that. Um, okay. Now let's go back to some of these photos. So now I go open this and I can close this and then I can go like this and I can go like, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, and hey, it didn't do it. Hold on, folks. Hold on. Okay. I go here. I go here. I... <laughs> Oh, wait, it did do it. Hold on. Okay. Now I go in here. And I go here. And then I go... Guys, this is not working. It was working, and now it's not working. Um, Here, I know what to do. Maybe if I go like this. Okay, sorry. Be patient. Everybody be patient. It's okay. Um, okay, good. Yeah, these are the Phrygian photos. So where are they? Are they here? Maybe they're already in here. No. Okay, good. So I can exit this and then I can go in here. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> here you go. Yes. Thanks for answering my question. You are amazing. Thank you for your love and support, Jane. $20. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. That's so sweet. And it's so supportive because I literally use this stuff. Like every time I get money, I'm always thinking, oh my God, this is so perfect for this. Oh, now I can go get this one little light strip I needed. Oh, and now I need to, you know, there's so many things and it's so loving and so supportive. And it's much nicer when we don't even have to ask and it just pops up. And it's just, I just love that. You guys are so friggin' cool and thank you. Um, okay, so I have all these. Okay, boom. And now I go in here and then I go in here. I'm so confused. Maybe it's because, okay, I'm just going to go like this. Zoop. And zoop. okay, this will be easier, guys. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> the need to sort and organize. Thank you very much. Exit. Okay. And paste. Oops. And paste. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm caught up guys. Sorry about all that. We are back in action. <laughs> we are back in action. Oh, there's one more photo of my grandma. I want to show, I'm going to open up all these so that it's easier this time. And again, thank you for waiting and being patient and being with me in my little living room here. Uh, it's basically, we're just hanging out, sipping on our wine, sipping on our teas, sipping on whatever we need, um, to feel Loving. I want to share this one first because my grandma, and it's just one last one where we're all here eating with her. Oops, wrong one, wrong photo. Um, this again was the time she had a day off. You can see my brother, my sister sitting here. We're all having our whip, oversized whipped cream. Look at me. I'm so excited. I'm like, whipped cream? We're allowed to have sugar? We're allowed to have chocolate? Because it would be out PR if we couldn't have all these yummy things in front of our non-Scientologist grandmother. And 
we didn't see her uh i don't think after this very much before she passed away so anyways i just remembered these lunches in la and stuff where we would have these little diner chit chats i miss my family i miss my grandma i wish i got to know them i wish i was able to tell them everything that was going on i bet you she would have wanted to know anyways sorry not sorry i'm just it's just not fair okay um here's one me and my sister, this would be on, on Christmas, like on a Christmas day. You can see we're starting to get older. Look at me wearing all black. I'm such a cool rocker. What's going on here? I'm so professional. Um, <laughs> anywho, uh, this would, on Christmas, my mom would give me these, like all the change and dollar bills. And, and we would just have fun counting all this money money, 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 even though it was just $1 bills, as you can see, she was like, okay, you guys can sort the change and have it, you know, like, so that was so fun for me, because obviously, we didn't get to have or make money at the ranch. And so to me, 100 pennies was a dollar. Whoops, I just accidentally flipped it. Uh, 100 pennies was a dollar. So I could get 10 licorices, or I could, you know, whatever. Anyways, it was a lot. It felt like a lot. So we were I think we were putting them all in these coin jars or something. Uh, yep, there's that's me and my sister again. So there you go. You can't say you didn't love me, sister. You're in my photos with me, having fun, laughing. Okay, so now this one is, oh, I want to, this is, so I'm showing these ones because these are photos of when we would have time or approval to be with our parents or with a family member. It would look like this. After this, it would be, it would look like this. <laughs> After this, it would be like, okay, back to the ranch, back to production. So anyways, I remember she got me this big couch and it stayed in her dorm, in her Sea Org dorm that I would go visit when they did allow us to go on Sunday mornings to see them for a little bit before they had to come to the ranch only. We weren't allowed to go to their dorms. Anyways, they surprised me with this big couch thing that I was, I felt like, oh my God, it's my own bed because it was like a fold out couch thing and so I was able to sleep on that and then you know uh watch whatever little movies but when I came over it would be like I felt cool because like that was my couch so that's the most I had in terms of like being home or at home I would be in my this as long as I saw this couch I would know like oh good I'm at my mom's house or my mom's apartment that's really what it is but and they shared this apartment which was a two dorm apartment with um two other married or one other married um, couple. So it wasn't like they had the apartment even to themselves with the three kids. It was uh, Linda, Linda and Bob or something. They were my mom's neighbors, Sea Org neighbors, roommates. Anyway, okay. Um, okay, so now I want to show you guys. Um, yeah, so when we were at the ranch, oh yeah, this is a very important photo because um, this shows literally the the deprivity or depriving like how deprived these children these children this is how on on a, whenever a child had a birthday it was such a big thing everybody always knew when it was somebody's birthday because you know you could always use it the cake or if i get presents like you would always use them to bribe like oh can i have some of your this and i can i'll give you some of my cake on my birthday you know like it wouldn't just be a normal thing to share your cake because it was so precious. It was like, well, we don't want to share our cake. Like this is the, we only, cause we were allowed to, we were allowed to save our cake. And I think this might've even been the gross sugar-free cake that was made. Anyway. Um, I do remember this birthday. Look, it's wrapped in newspaper. How great is that? I do remember this birthday very well. Um, but if you can see all the cadets are like surrounding, it was so horrible. They would come surrounding like, what did you get? But really they just wanted a piece of the cake because you were allowed to only have, there's the Ant ranch logo. You were only allowed to have a piece of the cake. Um, if the person's birthday said you could like, that's the only reason you were allowed to have sugar. Anyways, I do remember getting this blender, which ended up breaking like a few months later because people would just steal and use the blenders whenever because nothing really was ours anyways but that was really cool anyways okay let's talk about who's in this photo here we have shanoa treasure christina webster 
This is me, Laura Megan Anderson. Uh, up above, you have Becky Hughes or Rebecca Hughes. Here you have Amber Porter. Right here. And then to the right here, you have Cameron Alsop. Uh, again, Plumy. And that's it, I think. So that's all I can see here in the photo. I don't know. Cameron's probably doing something funny, making a joke or something stupid like that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Um, this was definitely, I, I think I was opening the blender right here. Yeah, that's what that was. Um, yeah, so it was like so amazing to get a blender. That was, I do remember being like, oh my God. And when I was able to use the blender, that was amazing. Like, uh, like again, we also had to get permission to use the blender. It wasn't like I was allowed to just use the blender whenever I want. And then also it was like, you have to have yummy things to put in the blender to make. So it would be like, oh, you have a banana? Wait, okay, I'm going to save this banana for Tuesday. So, I, you know, like it would, everything would always be like scraping. I want this. I'm going to get this. Oh, I can, I can make this. Oh, can, am I allowed to have a little bit of honey for the, for the, you know, no, you have to ask an adult for honey or whatever, because it's sugar or, or you'd have to ask another cadet whose parents bought them honey, a honey bear. And you were allowed to have that. A lot of the times, though, when you were in the governor's group, you weren't allowed to have sugar. Like, you, so you weren't allowed to have honey, like simple things like honey. Um, okay, let me show you another picture of ranch stuff. Um, oh, again, you know, always having those good PR photos. You need to have those good PR cadet photos every year to send to your parents and to the people at the gold base so that. Um, to your family and to so that they just think, oh, look at how cute they are. They're doing so good in their school. And again, with the clean uniforms, these uniforms were only used for photos. Other than that, I mean, we were supposed to be in uniform like this all the time. But again, we were doing heavy work and all kinds. We're kids, we're children. So things naturally happen, we spill on our shirt when we're eating or whatever. So to keep it spot free and saying this was just impossible. It was just like, so yeah, most of the time it was like really hard to even get a good group photo in all of this mess. Um, but when we did, we looked cute, right? Our little sunburnt cheeked faces and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, this is my sister and me again. Um, 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 yippity yang. Okay, yeah, let me show you some other ones. My nails is itching. Okay, here's I'm a little bit younger in this one, um, and you, it's a little blurry, but I still want to show it because, um, so when we did do holiday, like when we did do some things, when the parents did come out to visit, like there were some occasions that were fun, like this one, we would, it was Easter. So I think there was also some of the Saboba Indians, some of their children or whatever were out here as well. So we were trying to like, you know, have a whole, uh, I think this was maybe before, or after they had come and hung out, they came for a little bit for like a, you know, a PR good get together thing or whatever. And then they would go. But here in this photo, this was like, we had, it was like uh, for Easter, it wouldn't be the whole day. It would be Sunday morning during that time when the parents would be there. So for two hours, this is the time where we would be playing, you know, our Easter games. And, and here, this is me, but you could, and here there's Ben Rinder. Uh, there's William Delderfield, Marco Lobato. And in the back, you can see, um, other cadets that are in their uniforms and the older cadets and stuff that are in the uniforms. Um, some parents, I think behind here is Lewis Nunn and Alex Nunn's mom right there. Um, Natasha, Natasha's, uh, Musselman, her sister, Tissy Musselman, um, here I think is Christina or Jay Lewis, somebody, I don't know. Anyways, Ariella Coleman with her little kiss shirt. She knew nothing about. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. So this is the sports field and these are the activities for, for the, that we would use the sports field for like, yes, sometimes for sports and stuff or the PE time that we did have and things like that. But it would, again, is only, it's the time is so short lived. It's, it's an hour. It's, you know, two, it's two hours while the, while the, in, the parents of the kids that are at the ranch are there, um, you know, things like that. So it doesn't last very long. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Here's another photo of like the kids and the cadets that, um, 
at this time we're allowed to still go to the gold base and and here we were again here's natalie lobato i can tell from i remember this new haircut she had gotten anyways uh here is kevin murphy and his brother ryan murphy and then you can see some gold pe gold staff in the back um but yeah this moment was a sea org day and we were allowed to come to the base and and play games or something like that on the Sea Org day to see our parents and stuff like that. Wasn't often they had they pulled they they had uh, what do you call these the foosball? They had pool. They never had this, so it was like oh good we get to play all these games. It was like a a one. They stopped doing this after a while, but I do remember being we were approved or allowed to go to the gold base to go have fun with our parents on Sea Org day for the afternoon or something. So yeah, that's what this random little picture outing is. Um, okay, I think one thirty. I think I'm going to do a part two, and then I can gather all the other pictures together. I think that's a fantastic idea, folks. Um, so in the meantime, uh, I'll answer some of these other questions, and um, thank you all for being here and being so awesome and supportive again. Um, if you have any questions before I end this, send them in now, send me any of your fun little cheaty chat chats. I want to thank you, Lou, for us asking, uh, for, for, for the star or for the chats, for the super chats, um, smart questions. If you know, Arthur, we, yeah, I mean, he's a good guy again. Thank you, Jane. That's very sweet. And thank you for always being here and supporting when you can. We, we, I, Laura, Megan Anderson, me, myself, and I, we all appreciate it. Uh, the SPTV community appreciates it. People watching that never feel like they're going to be able to share their voice appreciates it. Um, it's just so helpful. Every All these little little baby steps and all these little things, all, every little supportive thing on the way is so supportive. It's so helpful. It carries us through our days, even when we're going through like annoying little rough patches, you know, things like that. So thank you so much. If you guys have any other questions, um, say them now. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to run on out of here. Uh, thank you for degraded daughters for being here. We fucking love you too. Keep being degraded and awesome and uh, shine your beautiful lights. Um, what? Oh, what? Oh, so that's funny. Roxanne said a couch and a blender what all kids want for their B days. I mean, I don't know if you're even being sarcastic or not. I guess that's not what, is that what kids want for their birthday? I don't, I guess that's not. Yeah. I wanted a blender that I can pretend to have yummy smoothies in. And, and that was, uh, that was exciting for me. It was so, I, I was so, I loved my mom so much. I do remember that. I remember getting that blender and, being like, oh my God, I love my mom so much. I, she got me a blender. So there's these really weird moments of really deep love and all that. And it's just, yeah, you know, but yeah, I, yeah, I probably, probably not the normal standard, not normal kid present one would receive from there, but nor is receiving an ethics book later on in like, you know, all these. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Put your motherfucking tiara uh, in, babe. Yeah, get your tiaras on. Question, how many of the kids have you been in contact with since you're out? Did more of them find you since you started the channel? Um, I would say that I'm in contact with total about 10 cadets from the Int Ranch specifically. And I would say four of them came out definitely, five of them came out and definitely one I have had on the channel, Sam Francis, um, Sarah Seltzer, who was not from the Cadet Org um, at the Inn Rancher or Pack Ranch, but definitely knows a lot of the Cadet Org, but was in the Sea Org herself and has parents in the Sea Org. Um, she was on... Uh, there are people who are talking to me. There are about five people that were in other cadet orgs that are talking to me right now that will be coming up on the show. They will be coming up on my, on the channels, um, and talking about things. They're just timing and everything. Um, but 
definitely with the uh, YouTube channel, I would say about 10 people from the channel. Um, no, no, no. I would say there's only about 10 people out from the Int Ranch that are out of the of Scientology brainwashing. And I would say only like two or three of them or four of them have really spoken out about the Int Ranch specifically. Um, but yes, there are definitely more coming. And yes, there are definitely about eight people who have contacted me just from um, the channel that are kids and cadets from the Int Ranch specifically or had uh, relations or was there uh, or at gold base for some part of the lives that are going to come up and we're going to chat. Um, I also know that Jenna Miscavige, um, Jenna Hill, she started her um, YouTube channel. So I wish I had it up here, but just go find in, it. You can put at in the search on YouTube, you can put at Jenna Miscavige and it, it should pop up. You'll find it. But um, I hope to help her with her channel soon too. And um, I can't wait to see what comes from that. So this is really good. This is, it's going to be really, really cool to, I mean, it's already been really good therapy for me or it, whatever you want to call it. Um, I guess deprogramming because it's like untraining your brain of what you aren't. And now, now we're finally here to be able to be ourselves and do whatever the fuck we want. So it's a little like, Oh my God, there's so many options. And, and, and to, to keep our mind in one, you know, one direction. So yeah, there you go. I'm very, very thankful for this channel and everything. Thank you, Alex. You rock. Thank you, Serge Del Mar. You guys are amazing. Serge Del Mar is so amazing. Go to his channel as well. Um, but everybody here in this SBTV community with all your channels, y'all are so unique and so perfect and so, um, great for having your own channels up. Um, and talking about your stories because we're all learning. We all get insights and information and, and we understand and get a little bit more empathy and everything. Every time we hear everybody else's stories as well, it opens up our lights to not just see one of the views of, of this horrific fucking crap that went on through our whole childhood with nobody else saying anything. So thank you all for being here. And Oh, what's I just <laughs> put one on? Um, oh, I'm late to the lie, but do you talk, do you talk to your family anymore? Or did they disconnect? Um, my, all of my, my mom, anybody in the Scientology family definitely disconnected and does not talk to me. My brother talks to me. Um, and, but he, we didn't for a while. He was struggling through his own stuff. Um, we're, we talk now. Uh, he's trying to do, he's doing his own life. He's going to figure it out eventually. Right. We all are. Um, so yeah. Other than that, um, yeah, my family, I don't really have very much close family at all that's talking to me at all because they're afraid to talk to me if they are not Scientologists because they don't want to lose whatever last connection they do have with my mom um, or my dad, but specifically mainly my mom. Um, and so they know the rules after all these years and how we've operated when I was in Scientology and when I was in the Sea Org and all this stuff. So they just know not to mess around or talk about that stuff. So yeah, they don't really mess around or talk with me because they know the connection will get them disconnected from my mother, even though they're not Scientologists. It's really fucking annoying. So yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Thank you. Yes. All right, my sweet angels. Yes, I know. Yeah, I meant to sarcastically as more evidence of the yes exactly all right thank you guys i love you all thank you for being here we'll do uh my childhood episode 14 uh a and finish off some photos and whatever i have left for you and i can get them more organized and then i see you there and we can chit chat and do more q a thank you all love you all subscribe like share talk about the lara fm tv channel and until then Kiss you all, miss you all, and have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Love to you all. Bye. Somebody is searching for the right child. Somebody is telling you. You're gonna do the next